girl T here back with the Tuesday Tea Time Vidya. I know you guys are having a beautiful blessed day because we're tea timers. It's absolutely what we do. Our affirmation of the day is why is it so easy to manifest? Why is it so easy for us to manifest? We're tea timers. So our manifestations are just falling in our laps. I had a few subscriber questions and I wanted to answer them today. The first one was why did my, my why did my SP block me on Snapchat when I was uh, working on myself and in a good mood and doing well with my affirmations? Well, my first question to you is how do you know that they blocked you if you're not checking their social media continuously? The answer here is that you are believing more in your 3D reality than you are in what you're affirming. Like if you really believe that your affirmations are conditioning you to expect that your SP is already with you and that's the reality that you choose to stick in, then I don't see the need to constantly be checking social media because you already know your SP is with you here. You guys have to be consistent when you're affirming for your SP and yourself and for your relationships and what have you because whatever you were previously thinking or aligning with the most is what will show up in your 3D. So if you are thinking, Oh my God, he loves me so much. Let me check his social media to make sure that he loves me so much. Let's see if he posted our relationship on social media. You are looking for validation through the 3D, which is old garbage. You need to be validating yourself through what's going on up here. I know my SP is posting up about me on social media because we're together. Who could do better than me? Who would want anybody but me? Of course he's loving me. Of course he wants to be with me. Of course he's reaching out to me because I'm the best that you can get. So who else would that person be reaching out to? You have to live up here. This is, this is the crux of all manifestation is staying internal until you see your 3D push out the way that you are seeing it internally. Sometimes people go so hard internally that they say when their SP comes back, they like the version that they've mentally created so they stay here and they ignore the 3d version of the SP until they decide if they want to be with them or not anymore and they might go for other people but live in your 4d which is your imagination and your affirmations until the 3d pushes out the way that you want it to so that is the answer even if you're feeling the best that you've ever felt right now your 3d can take a minute to catch up so keep doing what you're doing because the point is you're feeling better about yourself and which means your beliefs are changing which means that you just have to keep going until the 3d catches up with what you're doing up here it's just being consistent and keep moving don't worry about their social media because you already know that you're going to be on their social media because they're with you already you got this and leading from that question another person had asked me what if they don't have social media and they had asked but they're not calling the person and they want to be able to use their thoughts to have the person call them is what I got out of what they said you can easily get a call from your SP. You could just say, isn't it so crazy they call me every day? Why are they texting me all the time? Why are they constantly in my DMs? The the SP's crazy about me. He's just all up in this. But you want, for me personally as a coach, I want to see you guys have a fulfilled, healthy relationship with this person. And if all you're focused on is getting some texting and call action from them, that's not really the end result that you're looking for, right? Like if they start calling you or texting you, you're going to want a relationship with them. And if you have a relationship with them, you want to make sure that you have healthy beliefs in that relationship because every time that they tell you they're going out or they don't call you when they say they will, you're going to think that they're cheating on you or they're looking at other people or something's going on because you'll be triggered by your old belief system. So instead of constantly looking at if they're DMing you, if they've blocked you, they've unblocked you, work on the belief system at hand. The belief system that you're always loved and chosen by everyone in your reality, you always get the, the communication style of your choice because any relationship you have is going to be healthy communication. Everybody who looks at you thinks that you're a dime, that you're the prize, that you're everything. They want to be with you. They're jealous of anybody that's talking to you because you are the it man or woman in their existence. You have a healthy relationship of yourself or you have a healthy view of yourself in relationships. You know you can sustain long-term healthy relationships and you've always had perfect relationships. And everybody that wants to be in a relationship with you knows that you have a set of standards they have to adhere to, which is you're treated like a king or 
or a queen. You always have good communication. They always want the same things as you. If it's monogamy you're looking for, they only want to be monogamous with you. If you're looking for any other type of relationship, they share that same ideology with you. You have always had good relationships. Love has always been easy for you. Work on those type of beliefs. So when anybody comes into your 3D reality, you are going to line up with that version of yourself that has always had a good record with relationships. Relationships have always come in strong for you and you've always had the greatest relationship with anybody that you choose as opposed to affirming for a text message, affirming for a DM, affirming to be in a relationship status on social media. Who cares? If you're in a long-term relationship with somebody, those things are naturally going to be put up. And so you don't need to worry about that because part of having a relationship package, a healthy one, is that they're going to want to tell it the whole world about you. You don't have to chase after it. So keep working on your belief system and how your SP views you, you view your SP, and how you feel about yourself in relationships as a whole. And you're going to see that SP comes in with a healthy whole relationship with you because that's who you are. You're the man or woman that always has the best relationships. You're the man or woman that everybody wants to be serious with you're the man or woman that love gets to be easy for and you're going to see they're going to show up in that way and you don't have to worry about being blocked or looking for a text message or wondering if they're going to call you because you already know that that's the only way people roll in your reality if y'all have questions you know what to do i love y'all but not as much as you should be loving yourselves have a beautiful blessed tuesday bye Oh, 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 oh,